Tell me this is not the smallest camera I've ever seen in your life. So I'm going to show you how it works as well as give you my final review on what I think about it and if I would recommend it or not. It comes with this packet and it comes with its own USB as well as this stand. So this is what you're going to use to place it somewhere and place it on top anywhere you want to, any angle you want to film from. And it also comes with the instruction manual. Now with this instruction manual, you have to connect it to your phone and you can be able to see any footage that is coming from your camera. This is basically a surveillance camera. So if something is going on in your room and you don't know why or what is happening, you can place this there or anywhere you want to. And then you can be monitoring everything that is going on from your phone. Let's get to how to connect it to your phone. Now to start, you have to connect it to a power source, preferably a um, power bank. Next, we're going to scan the QR code it comes with. And then open the link. Now it will direct us here. Fortunately, my phone can translate Chinese. And then just go on from there. Make sure you avoid all these ads wait for it to load this is also an ad so remove that and then click on install then open when it's installed you have to give the app permission unfortunately so yeah it is what it is just allow while using the app allow 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 limited access and done now this will take a while Add a new camera. Uh, so click on add, cam add camera via Bluetooth. You have to click here and click on this Wi Fi here. Then go back, then click on the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then click on research Bluetooth device. Now make sure you can see the blue lights. And if you can't click on that button for two seconds and it would be it would blink. Now this will take some minutes, so just let it do its thing. Now if you have a memory card, you have to slot it in here so that it can store up all the videos you make through this camera. So you don't have to always monitor it from your phone, you can always bring it out and see what someone actually did and see what this camera actually filmed and this is where you're going to have access to all the videos of the memory in the memory card now you can see me because the camera is facing me and you can place this anywhere you want in the house. Now, if you put a memory card in this, all this video you're seeing now that is filming would be stored in the memory card and you can always check your device later. And you can also monitor it from the phone. So as you can see, it actually works. Okay, so this is where I placed it. That is it right there. This helps you to place it properly. And yeah, this is what's this is the footage it's given me. So here's my final review. This thing actually works, but the problem is that you have to keep it charged if you want it to continue working. And obviously a power bank would make it more flexible to charge it because yeah, the places where the sockets are in this house, it would not make sense to put this camera there because it wouldn't see much. It does not have a wide range of view and also if you add a power bank to it, it's going to make it bulky. The purpose of this is supposed to be a discrete surveillance camera but now it would become bulky. Now someone would see that there's a power bank and therefore see this camera. So I don't... It, it defeats the purpose of it and also the quality of the video it produces is enough to see what's going on and who just came in but it's not that clear it's most it's like hd quality that's 720p so yeah if that's a problem for you i would not recommend it but other than that the most important thing to know now is that it works so if you're interested in it and you don't mind all this um cons that i just mentioned 
and then just get yours the link will be in the description box if you're interested so now that you know how this works if you're a content creator or someone who owns a business and still creates content for your business did you know that you can create youtube thumbnails social media graphics and even full-on client projects for free using this free software that requires no subscription it's called photo p now with photoshop and canva and other um, graphics design tools it actually costs hundreds of dollars every year but with photo p it's totally free but unfortunately not everyone can use it not everyone understands how powerful this free tool is and that is why i've created a detailed walkthrough course on how to use it i'm teaching you how to use every single tool in this software and how to master the use of photo p to create stunning graphic designs so if you're interested in this the link will be in the comment section this is beginner friendly you know all my tutorials are beginner friendly this course would save you hundreds and thousands of dollars so might as well just get into it now the link to this course would be in the description box and yeah till i come your way next time i remain your one and only jessica okoli bye